today's video is a twist on the video I sent out on March 28th. The March 28th video discussed what happens when there is a casualty loss, particularly hail damage, just before a closing. What are buyers' options or rights? This video specifically addresses the seller's responsibilities and obligations when casualty loss occurs after the effective day of the contract. Casualty loss is covered by paragraph 14 of the contract. It states, if any part of the property is damaged or destroyed by fire or other casualty after the effective date of this contract, seller shall restore the property to its previous condition as soon as reasonably possible, but in any event by the closing date. The word shall is an affirmative obligation of the seller. If the seller doesn't comply with his obligations under the contract, the seller is in, in default. This gives the buyer the right to seek the remedies of default. They include enforcing specific performance or seeking damages or terminating the contract and receiving a refund of their earnest money. Only when the seller cannot restore the property due to factors beyond his control does the contract give other options for handling the matter between buyer and seller. The contract goes on to state, if seller fails to do so, that's meaning restoring the property, due to factors beyond seller's control, buyer may A, terminate this contract and the earnest money will be refunded to buyer, B, extend the time for performance up to 15 days and the closing date will be extended as necessary, or C, accept the property in its damaged condition with an assignment of insurance proceeds, if permitted by seller's insurance carrier, and receive credit from seller at closing in the amount of the deductible under the insurance policy. Bottom line, the seller must make effort to restore the property damaged by casualty loss by the closing date. If seller fails to do so, seller is in default. Now what if the seller says he has restored and buyer is not comfortable with the restoration? This is really no different from when buyers and sellers argue as to whether agreed upon repairs have been completed. The buyer wants gold plated repairs and the seller wants to use duct tape. It would take a professional person in the business of inspecting the property to establish whether the seller has restored the property to the condition it was uh, before casualty or not. I believe in a case like this, it would be the buyer who would need to have a reinspection to prove the restoration was not complete, rather than the duty of the seller to provide such a report as to completion. This crazy weather keeps this issue in the forefront of our transactions. I hope our discussions in these videos give you some guidance. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have other topics you would like addressed. As always, Allegiance Title is your trusted resource for results. Thank you.